Hello, YouTube. Um, guess what? Football season is right around the corner. I see football. I'm going to show you a preview of the 1986 Bed Zachary edition of the of the football preview for Ohio State football for all you Buckeye fans. All right. So, here we go. Ohio State is has a new offensive stream and a new head coach and a new attitude that this we need after a, after a losing season since for the first time since 1999. Urban Meyer's arrival had a ton of buzz in Columbus. He's, he was a two-time national champion in Florida. But Ohio State is not going to a bowl this year facing a result of an NCAA violation. Buckeyes have a few storylines though coming for this football season. So many storylines developing this coming football season. And um and, and we go to the next There's say no persists during the off season. It's been busier than usual for Urban Meyer. It was mercifully coming to an end. He took and received huge comments from the nation's top defensive linemen. Noah Spence and Adolphus Washington. What do you think about that? Their offense. Braxton Moore last year started 10 games as a freshman. He was 5-5 five and five as a starting quarterback last year. Carlos Hyde. Rush for 566 yards and six touchdowns. They they are plenty deep at running back. Also, Kenny Gatton, he was the backup quarterback. He's been impressive during spring and fall camps. And uh, we got Brianti Dunn. Hornball, Rod Smith, who was the offensive line will be was Andrew Norwell start left guard, left tackle, Jack Muhort, Corey Lindsley will be in starting center position, Marcus Hall will be right guard, Reed Fraggle, converted tight end. Taylor Decker for the right tackle spot. Sorry about that buzz. That was a text message. And wide receivers are they'll be led by a group of people. Yeah. Devin Smith, Court Brown, Chris Fields, Jake Stonebird, the tight end. They're going to be good. I see it's, it's going to be good with Urban Meyer this year. Defense. This will be a 4 3 seam this year. They have John Simon, Michael Bennett, Jonathan Higgins, Garrett Gubble. They have Steve Miller on the inside. Steve Miller, Noah Spence, Nathan Williams in defensive end position. And Dolphins, Washington, and Bellamy. Tackles. 
That's son of a bitch. Like Starting William Bakers. Um, Curtis Grant. Ryan Chazier. And, um, Etienne Sabino. We got 56 tackles as a true freshman last year. He's going to do as good this year. You got Bradley Roby on the secondary cornerback. Travis Howard, CJ Barnett, and Christian Bryant at their safety at safety. So the all defense is going to be might do awesome, even though Ozzy's not going to a bowl this year. So, but then, you know, special teams. The experience, both stars, both the punter. Ben Buchanan will be the Richard Senior. Will handle the punting duties. Drew Basil. Field goal kicker went 16 for 19 by kicking field goals last year. And uh, Jordan Hall's off-season injury, injury provided early shakeup to the returning teams. Until he makes it back on the field. Chris Fields, Corey Brown, Devin Smith, Bradley Roby will mix or in the mix to handle pup returns. So there, there's special teams. Coaching. Urban Meyer. Initial goal was to hire the best coaching staff in America. And um, there's this. And um, um, there'll be familiar ones on silent this year. Tom Herman, offensive coordinator, was a former offensive coordinator at Iowa State. Meyer, Bonnet, Ed, Ed Warner, for, former formerly at Notre Dame to become the off co-offensive coordinator. An offensive line for the Buckeyes. Stan Drayton, who was a former wide receiver coach, is the running backs coach. He was he was part of, with Urban Meyer at the University of Florida. Tim Hinton, be the tight ends and fullbacks coach. Zach Smith will be the coach for the receivers. And Luke Fickle, last year's interim head coach, is the defensive coordinator and linebackers coach. Everett Withers. Um, Aaron coach last year. And, um, an interim and defensive coordinator for Butch Davis's firing in the University of North Carolina. He's the uh, he's the uh, he's the defensive coordinator. Urban Meyer. Retained Mike Vrabel, last year's defensive line coach. Coach, uh, the same position as last year's staff will be Mike Vrabel. Running out the staff, Kerry Coombs, who was at Cincinnati, will be the cornerbacks coach. And there, there's the coaching. And Port Seven.
Here's the uh, 12 games this year. Possibly one of uh, two tough games, Michigan State and Wisconsin. And look at that. Purdue. Um, last time two teams met in Columbus. Nice blank Purdue, 49. Nothing. They should pull out the win. One game that could be a toss-up will be against Michigan State in the conference opener. Last year there was nothing to cheer about last year when they lost 10-7. And uh, Luke Finkel. Oh God, if, if we lose, we could just get over it for uh, Michigan State. But, uh, we could pull that one out. And uh, not worry about it. One of the games Buckeyes could lose against will be on November 17th against Wisconsin. Two years ago, they lost to Wisconsin 31 18. So there's the best team in the conference. Right there. They, 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 had, they got their revenge last year when they won 33 29. And uh, they show sure lost to Wisconsin last year. The offensive MVP could be Braxton Miller this year, the sophomore quarterback. And next, you know, it's broken. God, something's. Defensive MVP defensively will be Ryan Shazier, what weak side linebacker. Newcomer of the year, Noah Spence, defensive end. And, uh, Jonathan Hankins with defensive tackle. He's the best NFL prospect. He had 66 tackles in 2011. He's going to be the, the leading category on the defensive front this year. And, um,. Oops, something's gone wrong. I just crashed. While we're trying to fix it, trying to get fixed, for, for those of you watching on Dish Network, 
Look at this. Dish Network subscribers expecting to watch Ohio State's opener against Miami University Saturday. Could be out of luck. No between the set between satellite television and the cure for the Big Ten Network. Fail. Five year contract with BTN and this network which launched expires on Friday the day before the Buckeyes opener that's not good let me try this again oh god this oh my god I has messed up While we were waiting to get this. That web page is not available. That's that is not good. But here's the sub the video about Ohio State. Mother admire. With Bill Connolly. And welcome back to the SB Nation College Football Countdown. Today's team, the number 17 Ohio State Buckeyes. With a sparkly new coach and a postseason ban, the big story for Ohio State in 2012 is how they handle what has become a makeshift redshirt year. New head coach and two-time national champion Urban Meyer will run his spread offense through sophomore quarterback Braxton Miller, a flawed but intriguing player. Meanwhile, Meyer also inherits what could be the deepest defensive line in the country led by defensive end John Simon. This is a talented team, but we'll see how they handle having nothing to play for. The big number, 20. That was Braxton Miller's sack rate in 2011. Pocket presence is often the last thing that comes around for a good young quarterback, but one sack for every five pass attempts simply isn't going to cut it. Meyer will give him easy reads and opportunities to run, and we'll see how quickly Miller catches on to the new system. The big game? Michigan, of course. There's no Big Ten title to play for, no bowls on the horizon, but if you can beat that school up north, if you can build top five hype for 2013, you'll have still accomplished quite a bit. This has been your Ohio State football preview. Stay tuned to SB Nation for more. And we deal with more of the preview. Think about this. I know you're gonna like this, guys. And to all you YouTubers, if you're Buckeye fans, and so let's. See what the rest of this means right now. Tony Jerdman, and there's the quotes right there. The Twitter follows followers. I use Twitter, and what does Vegas say? According to Vegas um, odds makers. My guys, is set for nine win or nine wins. I predict that the Buckeyes can go um, either eleven, ten, or two, or nine, three, or eleven and one. But they up up the season as twenty-two point favorites of the Red Hawks. How do you like that? We're f but the. The uh, final prediction: When you combine 
allows these coaching trans transition with a pretty favorable schedule. Agreeing with Vegas, nine and three would be a safe bet if they lose on the road to Michigan and Wisconsin. But then either drop a game throughout the season or they should probably win. Um I'd probably kill them then ten and two. But basically but basically I know we have Dish TV, but um, so that's the preview of Ohio State football for 2012. Um, I'm Zach Bass as your host on YouTube, 1986 Bed Sacrys channel, and I hope you hope and I hope you enjoyed it. That being said. And what to say now is that's it.